Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Happiest Hour on Earth. Tonight, we have such a fun topic planned. If you heard last week, I was not here. Uh, Chris took that episode all by himself because our baby has been going through quite the sleep regression. Tonight is even a pretty big gamble for me to be trying to do the episode because he may just be waking up the whole time. I'm not quite sure. We're, we're going to see what happens, but... Just rolling with it. Yeah, we're, we're just doing it. We're doing the thing. We'll see what happens as we go. But I had to be here for this episode because it's one we've been really excited to do for a while now. And I'm like even more excited because we had a lot of listener involvement in this mm. one with our followers on Instagram. Tonight, we're basically going to be talking about different types of experiences that Disney could tap into in the coming years, whatever, and in the future that are non like park related. So we've got a lot of really fun ideas. You guys had some great ideas. We had so much fun going through all the answers and my gosh, you guys really like wowed us with some of the, the ideas that you came up with. There are some great things that you guys suggested. We're going to be talking about ideas and experiences that Disney could do that we thought of, Mm -hmm. you know, outside of the parks and the cruises, but there's some really fun stuff here. Some that are plausible and I think they're definitely working on, which we'll talk about soon. I think it's definitely going to be happening. But Mm -hmm. some that are a little off the wall, but would be awesome to see. And I cannot wait to talk about this. But before we jump in, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out our channel so much. If you're listening on a podcasting platform, go ahead and click follow on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening. And if you want, give us a little five stars on there. It really helps out our show. But with that, let's go ahead and jump on in. All right, so the first thing we are going to be talking about is something that I think is very plausible, and we just got confirmation that they're they're looking into it. And as as we go through these, some people suggested this, so we're gonna give our ideas, and then we're gonna list you know what our listeners had to say, and uh, we're also gonna be talking about something else. And if those listeners kind of are in that similar vein of what we're talking about, we're gonna be talking about what they said about that topic as well. And then at the end, we have some miscellaneous ones that did not fall into a bucket of ours, but that are really, really good. So make sure you stick around to the end to hear all those awesome and crazy ideas. But the first one we are going to be talking about is VR, virtual reality, which I know might make you kind of shudder and be like, oh, I don't want VR in the parks especially, I mean, I'm kind of like that when it comes to rides. I want them to wow me without the use of technology that you're wearing, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's 3D glasses and stuff like that, but we're seeing more rides get, you know, augmented reality. I haven't personally experienced it like the Mario Kart ride. I've heard mixed things about it, but I really want to enjoy a ride experience without the use of technology that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. But we saw an example of something that they are working on just last week, We saw a video from Walt Disney Imagineers, I believe, and I think also from Disney Parks Mm -hmm. of Disney Imagineer Lanny Smoot. Smoot, I think I'm saying that. Smoot, Smoot. Um, And he actually just got inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. First Imagineer to ever do so. So He's done, yeah, he has so many patents that he's made with Disney. And he's the second person from Disney to be inducted into um, the National Inventors Hall of Fame. The first was Walt Disney. So um, pretty big accomplishment there. But yeah, if you have not seen this video, definitely go on their page and try to find it. And so what he was doing, he created this technology called the hollow tile floor. And this floor interacts with your feet. It's just a small space, but you could be walking forward and you're walking in place. But unlike a treadmill that just keeps going and you'd fall off of it if you stop, it will stop with you. And then if you keep walking, you could turn, walk another way. You know, you you could even have multiple people on it and it's reacting to each person's footsteps. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of technology that makes us really excited for VR because you could really dive in and live out, you know, a Star Wars fantasy, a Disney fantasy, Mm -hmm. Marvel, Avatar, all these different experiences to the, you know, to the biggest degree. And we saw a little bit of this in a different way with the Void VR Mm -hmm. that was at Downtown Disney and I think also Disney Springs. 
they had this crazy Star Wars experience where it was VR, but it was also physical environments. If there's a lever that you saw in your, your VR glasses and you reached out, there's actually a level, lever there and you pulled it and it was wow. the coolest thing ever. But we could see this coming to like interventions at Disneyland or Epcot in Walt Disney World because that's 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 the future. And I think having little pods where you could go in and like live out an adventure that's maybe timed or something like you get 15, 20 minutes and you get to live out those different I you know think, things would be awesome. Yeah, I think that would be so perfect, especially at an invention building, whatever is there right now. I yeah. have no idea. There's but like a there is a, a club on one of those. I think it's a magic no, it's not magic key, I think it's DVC. Oh um, really? Club, yeah, on one of the levels. Yeah. Well, I mean that's <clears throat> great for them, but I think that this would be such a fun idea to put there because it's yeah. such a big space. Yeah. And it would just be perfectly utilized. Oh, the other thing I was gonna bring up, let's not just have it in the parks. Let's let's have it in the parks for sure in their designated areas, not rides probably, but let's bring these experiences outside of the parks, places to go, you know, Disney, yeah, like Disney up. VR, whatever mm -hmm. in, you know, malls or like just shopping center, you know, I, I, we haven't, we'd never go out <laughs> anymore to shop at <laughs> yeah. whatever people Where go people to, go? right? <laughs> yeah. Create those, those pods so you could have a Disney experience there. So instead of like going bowl. Go kart, but uh, what do people do? Movies. I'm not sure. Yeah, mo instead of yeah, movies. Oh man, imagine setting them up at movie theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, you get like a different entertainment experience all across the country mm -hmm. that is officially Disney, and you get to live out a Disney little fantasy. And then also with the Apple Vision Pro, I think that's what it's called. That's coming out February third or something. They should probably do something with that. But anyways, we got some VR listener suggestions. Do you want me to go mm -hmm. through these real quick, and then you can talk about the next one? Sure. Okay. So we heard from the at the little travel agent. All, all these people are great. I'm just going to put that right off the bat because I could just <laughs> say great things about all these people. But yeah, just know that they're all pages. amazing and go check out their pages. But mm -hmm. the little travel agent said, John says VR games where you could enter uh, different movies in their worlds. It'd be so awesome. So um, fun. And then we heard from at just another magic Monday who said AR VR. Hear me out. In park attractions, we could literally walk through the beast castle. So maybe, you know, in a physical environment, but you put on the goggles and you could, you know, experience it in a new way. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Such so a fun awesome. idea. Yeah. And then we heard from at Enchanted Ears podcast. They said VR or augmented reality. The void was such a cool experience. Yes, I got to experience it. Mm -hmm. And seems like such a potential, um, such potential for Disney to build off of. And it's so true. I never felt like I was more in Star Wars than that game. Yeah. Like you could go on rides and you could feel like it. The void, I was literally a part like of a Star Wars film. Yeah. So cool. Um, and then at Fam Travel Folio, she said, virtual reality rooms to see the park through someone's eyes and steps for those who can't travel. That'd be cool. Oh, true. That'd be awesome to like do VR and literally just be able to walk through the parks when you're not able to. Oh my gosh. So it would go. make me so happy. And even do like rides and stuff like yeah. that. And you, Disney could sell like a little chair that you could have at your house or something. And you could like, oh, let's walk like on this does, ride. Like and it does like slight movements. <laughs> Crazy. That'd be pretty cool. But they would be losing out on a lot of uh, park visitors, probably. No, yeah, that's People true. Would just be like, oh, I'm just can't afford that. So I'll just get the. <laughs> this I mean, that's going to be incredibly sensitive. Yeah, too, but that's true. You know, <laughs> true. you just need a little Disney at your house. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. But be like I said, idea. they're working on stuff. Yeah, with the hollow tile floor, and I and know like, I'm so curious. Crazy stuff. Yeah, I know. And with that, <clears throat> you can like use the. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. So there's this. There's multiple things you could either walk on it for which is perfect for vr mm -hmm. but they also show that this technology could be used for stage shows or or um for you to actually feel like you have the force they had this example of this box sitting on the hollow tile floor and you put something on your arm and wherever you move your arm that object is moving to that so That'd be such so a crazy. cool thing to add into Galaxy's Edge. You're building your lightsaber at Savi's workshop, but then you could also feel what it's like to have the force and like move things with your hands. It's crazy. Awesome. This is the future, you guys. This is the future. It's wild. That's what, I mean, it makes me think of Walt. Like he was always pushing the boundaries of technology. And so mm -hmm. seeing this kind of stuff just makes me really excited. Yeah, me too. I have no idea what exactly they have up their sleeve with all these, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Yeah. 
It's exciting. Yeah, do you want to do number two? Yes. <laughs> this is a very fun one. I feel like this is something that we have talked about ourselves a lot. Like if we were to ever just branch off and start our own Disney company of some kind, aside from a podcast yeah. <laughs> and Instagram page, um, pop up bars. Yeah. I feel like this would be just such a fun idea because you know, there's plenty of pop up bars out there. There's actually already quite a few Disney themed pop up bars. We've mm -hmm. had a couple come through like the Sacramento area here in California and like San Francisco. They've kind of yeah. come through there as well. There was an Alice in Wonderland one that was down in like LA. Mm -hmm. I think there was a Peter Pan one up here. Right? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Which yeah. I wanted to go to. But I think we recently had a child at there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We had to miss out, unfortunately. But yeah, there have been some really fun ones that have come through, yeah. but they are not like officially Disney. Yeah. So I feel like no one could do it like Disney could, you know, if there was yeah. going to be something like that. I think that they could just really go so hard with it and make some incredible bars that are just perfectly themed. Yeah. To whatever they wanted to do. I mean, the opportunities are endless. Like yeah. we, we wrote down a couple of ideas, like obviously Alice in Wonderland and Neverland are great options, which yeah. are happening already, but pirates of the mm -hmm. Caribbean would be so fun. Star Wars, like a cantina, like yeah. Oga's, um, haunted mansion or tower of terror go for kind of like a 1920s speakeasy vibe that'd be so cool there's just so many ideas and these are just a couple of them you know that people are all about the gram like the instagrammable spots and everyone would be going to that yeah. getting their photos getting to experience that i think i think would everyone would so just, much money people, be so yeah, incredible. people flock to things like that mm -hmm. like limited the time a few months place. yeah yeah it's like you're gonna get so much business yeah our idea if it was up to us one day and we had just all the money to start a business, we've talked about how fun it would be to have a like coffee shop by day bar by night. Mm -hmm. Um, but like switch out the theme like every couple of months to yeah. like something different Disney, but have it like the same theme, like the coffee shop would be the same as the bar, but just yeah. kind of like, you know, more, more night decor and stuff at night, whatever. Um, That'd be so cool. Yeah, do it for a couple months because you could do so many. Like even non-Disney, so like you could do like Narnia. Yeah. Stuff like that, right? Like mm -hmm. you walk through a wardrobe and you're oh there. Oh my like gosh. Cool yes. Bar. Like, I mean, there's there's so many things you could do with that. Yeah. Those would be so cool. And you, there's also another idea too that, you know, the pop-up bars, but mm -hmm. something else. Yeah. In addition to pop-up bars, we were thinking would be restaurants. It would just be so fun. Kind of like how Rainforest Cafe was to have all Disney themed restaurants in, you know, different parts of the country that are just all a Disney theme. Yeah. It It'd could be, rotate as well. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Rotate. Or yeah, you could do like different sections of the restaurant. Maybe like, maybe you could do like a new Orleans type of one, one mm -hmm. that's a little more fantasy land thing. Oh. And maybe, you know, like Rainforest Cafe had their little animatronics, yeah. you know, like a little animatronics. I mean, I know that was like kind of, some people were like, "Why? This is kind of ridiculous." But <laughs> imagine, I think Disney cool, would though. definitely love it, and if they did it well, I think that'd be great. Because we'll we'll go to you know certain places if we're close to it, like Mimi's Cafe or like uh, Huckleberries, and they're like themed to like the South mm -hmm. or like you know like New Orleans or yeah. whatever. But, but you could do that like with actually. like a Disney theme where it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. like, it doesn't have to be exactly like the whole rainforest like cafe, and every twenty minutes, like yeah, they're like flying or whatever, but. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. And then you could have like menu items from the parks mm -hmm. there, you know, so you could get your churros, you could get, you know, different kind of food things, but like maybe some lamplight lounge, like recipes, which yeah. is a little slice of Disney that they could put in like, I don't know, scattered throughout the country. So you could visit that if you can't visit the parks. You yeah. Know? Yep. And we had bring some character dining that. on there as well. Yeah. I don't really know how they would do that. They would have to just have some costumes on site, I guess. Yeah. 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 For it. But that would be so fun. That'd be crazy. So much fun. Yeah. I, I would think, be so down. I don't think they would lose that much money on it. I think it would be a good idea. Like, yeah, I think People almost anything they do, there's like going that. to be Disney fans that are going to flock to something like that. Yeah. It doesn't matter what state you're in. Like people travel to either side of the coast, no matter where they live. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. 
Well, Maybe. speaking of food, we got a lot of people yeah. with their food ideas. Do you want to hit us off? Yes. Yeah, so a lot of our listeners had this idea as well. So we had at Lindsay on the daily who said pop up restaurants, sharing the best Disney treats, beignets, Monte Cristos and more. Such a fun idea. Incredible. I just love it. I mean, they would make so much money. Yeah, it would be so would. good. Um, at the little travel agent said restaurants, character dining to be accessible around the country equals perfection. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Totally. So awesome. Um, and then at Cassie's unlocking the magic said maybe Disney themed restaurants across the country in specific locations. I mean, so think fun. about it, like the big ones like San Francisco. Yeah. Like any major, yeah, cities. Yeah, major cities within the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would love that. Um, and then we have at magical life of the Millers. Oh yeah. This said. is, these two are like slightly different, but still food related, but it'd be awesome. Oh yeah. To see yeah. These True. Uh, a culinary experience with Disney chefs cooking class to make Disney recipes. Yeah. So I remember cool. they, they did do something that our friend, darling of Disney, darling of drinks, drinks she is now. Mm -hmm. She did an experience in California adventure where yeah. it's from the, the mixologist, it's but they showed you how to do a couple of different Disney drinks. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool to do like a culinary experience that you could book out and, yeah. and learn how to make some of your favorite snacks. I agree. Uh, last one at live, learn, dream magic said, I'd love to see more tours and interactive experiences like a cooking class. Yeah. Let's go cooking classes. That would be so yeah. fun. I mean, gosh, here we were not too long ago making Disney stuff all the time. We could have taught our own class. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know we had a lot, we had a lot we more time. Not hand. Up for that. No, you know what? Our recipes were so good. We there did, was a we couple did. that we were some pretty good ones. Can't so lie. Bomb. I think, so I bomb. think we, you know, we are not professionals, but we did okay for what we yeah. had. We definitely made a ton of mess, but we they, did. They turned out great in the end. Delicious messes. Delicious messes. So our last one that we had, and then we're going to talk about some crazy ideas oh, from our listeners thoughts, that are just yeah. kind of all over the place. But mm -hmm. this is another thing that Disney could do an experience that they could have outside of the parks and the cruises. One thing that we thought of. That's kind of off the wall, but are very popular mm. are escape rooms. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Escape rooms. Everyone loves them. They're all over the country, right? Now, imagine if Disney were to do that all around the country. So you get people, you know, paying in and doing experiences closer to their home. But imagine escape rooms with the IP of Disney and the ability to theme like Disney. Mm -hmm. I mean, how awesome would those escape rooms be? Now, we could definitely do some in downtown Disney and Disney Springs. Yeah. Or let's say you get in and you don't want to do a park day that your first day. But you're like, let's all with our group of friends do a Disney themed escape room. Mm -hmm. So you could have them in those areas. But you could also do pop ups throughout the country. That'd be so awesome. And some of the, our ideas escape from the jail cell in Tortuga, like Pirates of the Caribbean. So fun. Right? There's like a little dog outside and you're trying to figure out how yes. to get the key. But you, you have your own little escape room thing. Uh, you could do escape from the haunted mansion. Don't be that 1,000th ghost. Right. You got to figure out. Just you like got to find movie, a way yeah. out. Okay. Imagine how cool that would be. Um, another one you could do a Star Wars one, like escape from the First Order or something mm -hmm. like that. Right. And then also you could do one that's a little bit easier for kids escape from Rapunzel's Tower. Right. There's like a whole bunch of themes and I'm sure we're missing like yeah. the perfect opportunity that just kind of. Um, you could pick you know, from like this. any for kids. Like, I mean, you could choose any Disney. Movie. Oh, escape from Cinderella's. <laughs> yeah. Room, <laughs> like, um, to get to the ball. Uh, yeah. But you could. Yeah, Captain there's so many shit. cool. Like, yeah. <laughs> anything. I mean, these would be so cool. And you could just do some amazing theming around that. And like I said, do them throughout the country. And people would be all in on that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All in on that. So, so much fun. Honestly, I have never actually done an escape room. I think I would be terrible at it. But if Disney started them, I'd be you there. No, you'd be there. I'd right? do it. You're tapping into a group that already loves to do escape rooms, but you're also bringing in people who haven't done them but just to just to Disney be fans are like, yeah. I have to say I've done it. <laughs> yeah. And I wouldn't even want to escape. I'd just be like, I'll just sit in this like Disney theming here. for an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It'd be so cool. But, and it so doesn't take fun. that much space, right? Like it, you don't need a, a huge overhead with like the rental space and all that stuff. But yeah, true. anyways, would be fun. But let's talk miscellaneous. Do you want to, we have, we have a good number here. Are you 
ready to start. Yeah, there's so many. They're all over the place. So some are experiences, some are just things they could offer. Yeah. And let's get into this. <gasps> so fun. Okay, there's a lot. So first, at JS Brewer said on property child care. Sometimes mama just wants to enjoy a drink at Carthay. <laughs> yes. We hear you. Come on. I feel yeah, there. Totally. Be, I think that would be so nice. I mean, so awesome. just like on the cruise line mm -hmm. where yeah. you can drop off kids all day. Like right? how fun is that? That'd be so fun. Yet cruises are capped out, yeah. you know, at a certain number of people. <laughs> so parks true. would be all the kids would Chaos. be like destroying everything. Yeah. Um, there is, however, not affiliated with Disney. I forgot what they're called, but there's literally a nanny service, like a Disney nanny service that the nanny comes with you. And if you want to do like the big rides, like I th yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they like go with you. And if you want to go on the big rides together, they like take them to the smaller rides and you literally have a magical, I think it's something to do with like I love that godmother idea. or like fairy oh, yeah. godmother, like something. That sounds familiar. like nannies, fairy godmother, nannies, something like that. It's a great idea. Yeah. It's really smart. I love the um, own property child care idea. Yeah. Yeah. So they crazy. should invest in that for sure. Oh, totally. So another person we heard from is at Iggy pop with a zero um, <laughs> instead of an O and she said off property event planning. And so I think what she, I think from what I got from this yeah. was like different types of event planning with the Disney masters theme. behind planning. Yeah. The, like yeah. theming of Disney. So like maybe Disney weddings, that's not actually at the park, mm -hmm. but you know, in a beautiful location that you want to go yet, they kind of do all the event planning mm -hmm. for you. I'm um, kind yeah. of, it kind of reminds me of like adventures by Disney, right? You're not going to the parks with that, but it's like a Disney planned vacation, right? Like mm -hmm. you go to China and like the Caribbean and you know, a whole bunch of different places. Yeah. It's like their, you know, trip, you know, mm -hmm. it's like a Disney trip still. Yeah. So maybe like event planning that's yeah. off property. That's pretty awesome. I That'd think be a that's great idea. Such a fun idea. Yeah, totally. So next we have at all day, all Disney who said airlines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, on top of that, we had at Erica adventures who brought it a little further and said airlines, Think of your Disney trip beginning as you board your plane. They could play Disney cartoons on the TV and pass out Disney snacks. Then when you arrive, a character is waiting to greet you as you exit the gate. Such a good idea. So right? fun. It's yeah. like, it reminds me so much of how the bus system used to be. And, yeah. Was and, it the Magical Express or something? It, it yeah, was called I something think that's like what that. it was yeah, yeah. in Disney World, um, which is no longer there. Very sad because yeah. we got to experience it and it was so yeah. nice. That's so when you, you land in Orlando at the airport and then that bus takes you directly, directly to the yeah, So nice. To the Delivers all your And it has like cartoons and everything too. Yes. Yeah, while you're on there. So good. So oh, it delivers your suitcases. That was so nice. It's all so yeah. convenient. I, I mean, not that we're regulars in Disney World, but I'm sure that all the regulars miss that a yeah, lot. For sure. <laughs> Everyone flying in. But yes. Such a fun idea to have an airline dedicated to Disney. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so great. I love it. I, I wonder if they'll get into that at some point. Up next, we heard from at M Gold Drummer. Um, there's a lot of these people guy. that are like <laughs> <laughs> friends through our podcast and then also friends just in real life. And so life. Just yeah. a normal life friend. <laughs> yeah, just a normal life friend. But it's so so good to hear from all these people. Um, mm -hmm. so he said a studio tour of the making of Disney movies similar to Universal. And that would be that really cool. You could cool do it idea. in different ways, I feel like. You could either go to the Disney Studios and like paid for a tour of all that. And you could like see the sound stages where they filmed a whole bunch of things. You could also do something like that in the park, maybe like, you know, props from the movies mm -hmm. and stuff. And you just get to experience it at the park. I, I wonder if there's that. also another one where they like take you around to like filming locations most of their movies are animated so that you wouldn't really have filming locations but true you know different types of things would be so cool just to see um another that one that does so cool. yeah another one that does this really well is warner brothers at their studio and there's no theme park attached but at their studio you get to see like a lot of sets from friends and uh harry potter mm -hmm. and like props from that and so doing that at disney would be amazing to see like the real life props and you know, yeah. sound stages, like sets and everything would be so cool. I love um, it. That's yeah. such a good idea. So next up we have at Plan Disney with Jill, who's awesome. We love her. She, she had said, her, yeah, we had her on a show. So if you yes. want to see the episode, great episode. You'll find it. So good. 
so many helpful tips. Definitely oh, yeah. check that one out. Um, she said Disney schools, they do so well teaching many real life things like design, customer service, culinary and entertainment. So true. I would have never thought of this, such but yeah. A, yeah. Such a cool idea. Like whether it's just like schools for young kids or colleges, like, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I guess there's the Disney college program, but yeah. it's a little but more it's... niche and like hard to get into, like to just have more accessible Disney colleges mm-hmm. would be so cool. You could do like a trade school typey thing, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of just prepares you for that skill. Get, like, and then also, yeah, kit. some, when you could do that with younger ones, you could also do like a supplemental mm-hmm. thing where like, you know, summer school, Disney style, yeah, and it's like online learning. learning like, and Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not like, you know, history, math, science, that stuff, yeah. but it's like a separate wing of learning that is like Disney. Themed. Yeah. Cause yeah. like she said, you know, they're the best at a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Um, like design, extra customer curricular service, learning. entertainment. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That. Such a cool idea. So cool. I and actually so on that, um, we heard from at family magic UK as well. And she said education. She said my autistic son uh, would happily do numbers and spelling, etc. If it was Disney themed. I love that. And yeah, I love that. That'd be really, really cool to have like specialized schools. Yeah. Um, I think that are kind of more catered to that. Yeah. Exactly. Especially for young kids, because I think anything that a kid is into like Disney is going to make them all the more willing to like want to learn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So to have like, school you know curriculum and stuff that's disney would be so cool yeah yeah and on this whole topic it just made me think that walt disney actually did start a college Mm -hmm. yeah it's still around yeah the the california um, institute of the arts right yep yeah and it's you know a lot of people came from there like tim burton Mm -hmm. um pete doc I, I believe so. yeah there was a whole bunch we have a book that we read to our son occasionally that's like the whole story of walt disney and there's a whole section about that and it mm-hmm. showed all, all, a lot of the big names that came from that school yeah i never had any idea that walt started a college until reading that book i was yeah. like man this is never talked about you learn a lot from kids books yeah. yeah it's such a cool book it is great all right so we have two more left and next we hear from at jordan the park hopper we had her on a show as well yeah. talking about her so club fun. 33 experience mm-hmm. so cool if you want to know what it's such like in the one. club go check out the episode it's so great she's such an amazing person all yes. these people go follow Oof. yeah it, great pages um anyways she said Disney, this is this is great. Mm-hmm. Disney hotel resorts in areas that don't even have a theme park. Now, that's taking our restaurant idea, combining it with the resort. Imagine that. You don't live anywhere near a Disney theme park. Like let's say, let's say Texas, for example. Mm-hmm. And I talk a little bit about some ideas like this and where they could expand in uh, last week's episode. Imagine they don't want to build a theme park in Texas, yet they want to do a resort there mm-hmm. with a nice water park, you know, Disney themed water park, just Disney everything where it kind of really makes you feel like you're a part of, I don't know, you get that hotel resort experience and you get a Disney restaurant that's attached to it. And you yeah. get a little slice of Disney mm-hmm. there in Texas. I think that would be so great. It kind of reminds us of the Great Wolf Lodge, if you've heard of that. Just a resort kind of thing that's not really tied to a park. But so many go. activities and so many activities. Stuff to yeah, do. Huge water parks inside. It's like it's mini crazy. golf and Bowling, yeah, but yeah. Like just tons Imagine of stuff you could do that do. at the resort too, like a mm-hmm. little Disney themed mini golf inside. So you're really just getting out. Oh, yeah, such a great idea. Kind of like almost like combining the cruise line with the yes. resorts or something. Yeah, I think that would that, be so fun. And right? like Alani is kind of like a version of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, in it's Hawaii. hard to get to. Yeah, Hawaii. So maybe you take that model and just bring it all else. over. Yeah, I would be so. And down. the one thing that like with Alani, they were really trying to balance Disney and the beauty of Hawaii. But I think if you, if you brought it up over here, you could even go heavier on the Disney. Yeah. Cause you, know? you don't need to feel like you're trying to Disney find something that's already like, yes, so beautiful, it's so and perfect magical. and yeah. beautiful without the Disney stuff. Yeah. You know, I feel like there's probably, I don't, I don't a know. A line that they're trying to balance. There. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would be really fun to have more of that in the, you know, continental U S I think that would be so fun. I think this is one of my favorite ideas for sure. Yeah. It's so fun. Well, we have one more uh, yes. from a friend of ours. Do you want to do you want to hit us off here? Yes. The last one. This one comes from at odd mother, a good, good friend of ours. She said family camps. 
where families can go have Disney themed food, housing, games, sing along, stuff like that. And since it's a camp, there's limited populations, which could prevent crowding. Love this idea. Such a good idea. So fun. Kind of reminds me of how the camps at Fort Wilderness are in Disney World. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to stay there. It looks just so much fun. It's like literally just living in cabins. Yeah. Going to Disney World. Like such a fun experience. But yeah, like bringing that outside of the parks. And just having areas like that for families to go. But it's all just like Disney. Yeah. Because then it's, I mean. it's a good idea. Yeah. It hits like the the adventurers out there too who, you know, love the theme parks. But they want to explore the great outdoors as well. Mm -hmm. And so you do that in like beautiful spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful spots around the country. And it gets those, you know, kids who love Disney. But also the parents that want to get them out Mm -hmm. into the real, you know, beauty of our country. And or other countries as well yeah and um there could be like shows and stuff like nighttime shows and i mean disney has so much money stars yeah yeah exactly oh my gosh so fun like think of just how much they could do with that yeah and how good it would be like yeah they could do so much with that idea yeah they're already doing disney communities where you could live like uh disney's cotino there's a different one that they're building i think in South Can't Carolina. remember. They're either Dakota or Carolina or something along yeah. those. Um, one of the north south <laughs> um, <laughs> states. But um something over there. And that's another that's another place where you could live. But why don't you just do more like, short term yeah, short term camping things? That'd be so fun. Give it the feel of like a a camp. Yeah. You know, oh man, you could do some like up themed ones. Like oh my little gosh. badges and all that stuff. It would be so yes. fun. Yes. Seriously, that would be so fun. And then you have like so much space to work with. Yeah. If you're outside, it's like all you need is just like a plot of land and then they can just like put you know, Yeah, you could do there. cabins there. You do some like tents if people want to do yeah. that. But I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, yeah. I am so down for that. Great idea. Yeah. Audrey. <laughs> so fun. Well, that pretty much concludes our episode. It's so nice to have Emily back. This is Happy so exciting. Back. It feels good talking to someone rather than a phone. <laughs> but um, You did great. You thank did you. Great. But I know I would not be doing well. I was, was saying so. Yeah, it's tiring talking by yourself for that long. But I, I did imagine. survive. Um, but <laughs> we just want to thank you guys all so much for listening to our show. Your support means so much. Uh, we have some really great episodes coming up. So if you're not already following us on Instagram, podcasts youtube all that stuff definitely go follow us there and let's let's start chatting disney but yes. we love you guys and we hope you guys are having a great start to your 2024 and we'll see you all next week see you then see you bye, bye guys